Now you thought yesterday's build was crazy. 50% damage bonus, man. We'll be showing you guys how much damage we're doing with the survival bow, the recurve bow, the crossbow, the Francesca axes. Uh, I left chapters again. So if you don't want to see the buying process, you can just go ahead and skip to the PVP. We'll see you there. All right, so I caved in on my PVP character and decided to purchase the second stash. It was becoming a problem. It seriously was. That was getting a problem, especially because I wanted to take off the mana sphere build that I had. And uh, I wanted to keep that around so I can purchase an entire new build. Who knows? Maybe I'll use some of this stuff. Uh, we'll see. Bonus, I believe, is more expensive because it doesn't have a soft cap like physical power. You guys saw in the last video, I was trying to stack physical power. I had like 35%. I had an item that had like uh, plus 5 physical power. It only went up to 38%. And I think it's because physical power has a soft cap. But the physical power bonus doesn't. That's why sometimes you see physical power bonus is a little more expensive. I appreciate the person who uh, commented this, and uh, it was a big help. I mean, it, se it seems like the leather cap that I already have is probably good. If we don't have to spend more gold on something, we won't. I think it's totally fine if we use this cap right here. That two strength, two fizz. That's totally cool. We're definitely going to be changing out the pants, so we're not going to really focus on move speed, and we're going to change out the uh, the boots too. I'm going to do wolf hunter leggings. We'll go ham on these guys. We'll, we'll buy something good here. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's Let's see what power looks like. You can get five power or uh, 1,900 gold. Okay, I might do that one, but let's also check out the uh, the physical damage bonus. Yeah, see if it, yeah, physical damage bonus is a lot more expensive. Yeah, there's definitely no way I'm gonna spend 3,000 on one piece. It's 1,900 for five. Yeah, I'll take those, dude. Let's screw it. We got these wolf hunters. Pretty cool. Got that four strength, six max, five fizz. So I might consider this one, but let's see the one that we have already. I mean, this is five strength, three fizz, one true. I mean, do we want that two vigor? Well, let's see what we have here. Two additional, two agi. We also have these reinforced gloves too. I mean, 3%, five, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We could go vigor, I, I just don't know yet. Maybe I'll hold off on the gloves until we have everything else just to see where we're at. I mean, dude, this is really good. I might, I'm thinking I'm gonna buy that. I mean, what's ours at? I think we have four physical power on this one. Yeah, this is four fizz. Our tattered cloak is looking like this. That three fizz, three strength. Yeah, these are going to be very, very expensive. How about the rares? I think I'll put ours on for now. And we'll see where we're going to go from there. Three strength, three fizz right there. Now for the boots, I'm thinking rugged, man. Because, uh, I don't know. If we're not really focusing too heavy on move speed. I mean, let's, let's look at our move speed right now. It's 91, so when we put the boots on, no matter how high MS we get on boots, it's not really going to matter. Like, so I think we just go ahead and just go with Rugged and just stack HP at this point. Just imagine we're playing like PDR Fighter, except maybe a little faster and just insanely strong. So let's see what we got on these damage bonus. We got a 3% for 400. Yeah, let's do that. I definitely am going to do riveted gloves because uh, I want to stack that strength as high as possible. We'll probably just use mine that we had last game. I think that's that should be okay. Let's see what we let's see where we're at right now. Dude, without pendants, we're at 39%. Like with pendants and everything on the last build, it took pendants to get to 40%. And we're already right here. So we're going to go ham. We're going to spend this entire thing on pendants. And I think this is okay because we can use... The old, you know, the falchions that we had from last game too. Maybe one, we'll probably use this one and probably use this, like the mana sphere as well. But we'll go shopping still. Let's go check it out. Let me quickly take a look at the HP. We're at 130 HP. I mean, we could be out 139 if we did a neck of peace. I think I'll stay at this HP. I mean, look, we're at 93 move speed. Damn, dude. That's low, bro. Well, let's see how it goes. Maybe you don't need move speed. Maybe because the reason I stack move speed initially is to run from barbarians. I mean, like, a wizard and warlocks are not a problem, because you can really keep your distance. And uh, one crossbow shot with this damage, they're going to run away. They're not going to stay. And people ask me to try the survival bow or curve bow. I'll have one in the inventory. I just think the crossbow dude is just, I don't know, with that much damage bonus, the crossbow really hits, man, if you can land that shot. But I, I understand that the, the bows are better DPS, and uh, I read your guys' comments, so I think I'm going to listen to you guys and try it out. Let's see what this does. 45, okay, cool. And yeah, that brings us up to 45%. Uh, I think we'll go 50. Today, yeah, we're gonna try to reach 50. 50 should be okay. I mean, maybe I could do two dex rings that can get me up there. If I have two dex rings, 
that have three percent that have three percent each. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's purchase Dex rings with three percent power bonus, so that we can increase that Dex just a little at least. Here it is, right here. Two point eight percent. Let's see how high does it go. Fifteen hundred for three. I mean, we can just take two two point eight percent ones, and just spend uh, twelve hundred. Let's buy this one. And screw it, we'll buy this one too. Let's go ahead and see. 21. Okay, yeah, 51 power bonus. Uh, the HP, that's the only thing. A little low, but I think we are at 140 with the weapons. So 2%, that's just 2 max health, that's 137. This is 3 max HP, so that's 138. And this is 4 max. Okay, this is fine, dude. Oh, I don't even know what the highest damage these can go for. I'm not really too familiar with recurve bows. But I think I should specify weapon damage. The highest weapon damage it can go... Let's see, 35, okay, 37. So I saw some already that had 37. This is 36 with 2 weapon damage. So let me find a 37 and bump it up to 2. Yeah, 39 damage, okay. That campfire, and guys, I think we're ready. 51 power bonus. <laughs> Terrible move speed, okay? This is no no room for move speed. 25 uh, physical damage reduction. You got your weapon mastery slayer, dual wield, sword mastery. 21 decks at least, so we increased that a little bit. We're at 4.5%. We're about to find out if this is worth it, because uh, yesterday's build, we did, a, uh, we did 40%. But we had 100% move speed and 20 PDR and 130 HP. So we're going to be having around 140 HP here, maybe even a little more. We're going to see if sacrificing move speed is worth the extra HP and that extra 10%, in this case, 11%. Let's get in the game. Yes, we got time. We got time. Let's check this out. What are we doing? 148. Okay. Interesting. 154. Well, if you guys remember yesterday, uh, we were doing uh, 144 on the first hit. Let's see the crossbow headshot. That's 114. That, I mean, that wizard's dead, bro, you know? Like, that's why they would run away. Let's see the recurve bow. 85. Dude, that's like a normal crossbow when you have, like, 20% power bonus. 53 on the chest. That's crazy. So the survival bow is going to be like a Francesca. Let's see the Francesca damage. 35 on the chest. And 54 on the headshot. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's see how this goes, dude. Did you just right click? Goes right there. Perfect. Got to make sure you have enough room for it. Let's see who did Cape Troll. Dude, that's crazy. World Destroyer. I mean, this guy had a Mana Sphere as well. We'll take that for the kit. Fine Blade. Yeah, this guy was yoked. Dang, dude. Okay, yeah. We take the whole kit. Is this better than mine? Three Fizz. I'll take my health bonus over that. Yeah, this guy was running some cool stuff, man. He, he got a, like, cool, cool ring, too. That's worth a lot of money. I'll probably risk some of this, because, I mean, we do have bolts. We do have arrows that we can... Just go ahead and use if we uh, don't have Francesca. This guy also got a legendary Zweihander. I think this was from probably the boss. That's a that's a pretty good Zweihander. Dude, those are like max MS, bro. Holy hell, look at this. I mean, I could take that Zweihander. It's just uh, the switching to the crossbow is not going to happen. It's just I no longer can switch. I'll probably have to mid-fight drop the crossbow. Well, let's see how this would work. I shoot the crossbow. I would have to shift, right-click, and then equipped. That's what I would have to do. Can I even pick this up? Yeah, not enough space. Yeah, let's get out, dude. Pretty stoked about this gear, dude, that I have here, because this is money. 
I think the bard may have killed the rogue. Pretty sure the rogue is dead. Yeah, this dude was yoked. Jesus. Yep, rogue 100% in general chat. And yeah, like pretty mid gear. Pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing is Savage Roar. I'm pretty sure that a heavy counter to a build like this, I mean, it doesn't matter how much damage, damage I'm doing. If I have that Savage Roar debuff on me, that dude can actually just destroy us. So uh, we're definitely going to have to take the, the weapons out and sprint away until, you know, we can wait out Savage Roar and then go in and fight. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. I got to really just, you know, hope for the best here. See if we can uh, get away with it. Wait, I think this was a dude earlier. This this was the dude who was doing cave troll earlier, and the uh, the bard killed him. Yep, yep, he's in channel chat. That guy almost had us. Pretty sick. Damn, this dude, he's got that tri pelt. Now, where's his cloak? Here, we'll give him one. There you go, buddy. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. This, uh, this tri pelt. That's pretty sick, man. Take that. We'll take this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these ring of vitalities real quick. Maybe we could find something with action speed. Like, a 2% action speed to make up for this dex. Yeah, you know what? I'm down. Let's try it out. 2.1%. Just have, like, a little bit of an edge on the HP. And we'll still have pretty similar damage bonus, I think. Let's see. 50. That's fine. Plus, we'll have 140 right off the bat. I think that's a, that was a good purchase. Uh, I'm down to stay at 50. Let's see. What's the difference? 51.2... Not significant. And let's see the action speed difference here. 3.3. 4.5. Okay. I mean, that's a little bit of a difference. It's just a 1% difference. I think the HP maybe will save us more than, you know, just a 1% action. I 
I think they can improve the graphics here. They gotta make it like go in the head and give it a little gore. Nice. Man, move speed. I'm sure this will sell. Dagger of Righteousness. Oh, this is a Rondel dagger. Yeah, I waited out that savage roar. Ended up working out. He almost got us though, we missed a shot. I think we lose that if he ended up having savage roar on us. But I made sure to wait it out. I mean, we had enough sprint to get away, but that's only because he's not a high edgy barb. Imagine if it was a high edgy barb, like, like we wouldn't have been able to put some distance between the savage roar. Yeah, about 25 damage. So just get a 25 damage one with three weapon damage, right? Or this 26. It'll do something like that. All right, let's try the serve bow. Headshot, 55. So that's like a a uh, the chest shot on the recurve bow. The 41. What about a just a gray Francesca? 32. Wow. So this is doing more, dude. Yeah, so you might as well just have this out. Let's start move speed with this. 83. What about with sprint? 100%. Yeah. Better than this. Crazy. I mean, the Francescas are faster. Of course. I just wanted to get rid of him. I don't want him to like, you know, betray me or something later or something while I'm fighting other people. So I just decided to get rid of him. <laughs> Savage room is gone. There we go. Here's just stock armor. Surf boat fight? Try that servo. Nice. Servo came in handy. He felt that. Servo, servo. I gotta stop missing.
I think, oh, he killed him. Oh, no, he just died. All right, guys, so my closing thoughts on this build. This is an incredible build. I still think this is a 10 out of 10 build, just like yesterday's build. The only difference between yesterday's build and today's build, yesterday's build was 40% uh, damage bonus, and we had 100% move speed. Today is 50% damage bonus, and we had 94% move speed and 10 to 15 extra HP. Yesterday, we were doing around 130, 134 HP. Today, we got up to 147 HP with 25% PDR as opposed to 20% PDR. So that 5% PDR could make a difference. I'm really starting to think that if you're playing an aggressive build like this, you're willing to spend six, five to 7,000 gold, maybe even 8,000 gold on a kit, you no longer need move speed because they're so powerful. You can take on barbarians. Uh, the only thing is, is you got to make sure you wait out that savage war because they can still, they can have a chance against you in that manner. I think barbs are your biggest counter because of that savage war. When it comes to wizards and warlocks, if you hit them once, even with the recurve bow, they're going to feel it and they're going to back off. And, uh, you know, you just got to make sure you don't get BOC'd too. You can like kind of hold W Slayer Fighter. You still got to be careful because you don't want to get over. You don't want to get too cocky. You could still die very quickly. You know, as a Slayer Fighter, you, could, you still can get dropped. So you just want to, you know, stay careful. You don't want to get too overconfident or cocky and uh, you should be fine. Thank you guys very much for watching today, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Appreciate all of the comments, man. I see you guys. How many, however many likes I get, I'm gonna do equal amount of push-ups. You just gotta do like 10 reps at a time, man. But you know, just like put on a put on some music or a podcast, you'll get through it. Do it, do it. Hell yeah, guys. Stay healthy, stay well. And uh, we will see you in the next one, man. It's always a pleasure.